The summer national sport of Canada is lacrosse and the winter national sport is ice hockey. Lacrosse history Many national sports such as cricket, football or rugby are popular around the world. But Yes, no more cats. Yeah. <laughs> so how's everything? School's good? I guess I asked yeah. a reading class. So not much has changed in a day, has it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, since you're still doing reading and everything, I know you didn't do many of the classes in 27. But I'm sure with a little review, you, uh, you would be fine to do the test. So you've got your copy? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, you know the drill. It's the same thing, right? We're going to do some reading. Uh, the testing is going to change a little bit very soon. I think in the next in the next test, actually, it'll it'll be a bit different, more like the 30s, where we have more discussion. Um, but for today, it's still the same. So we're going to read about a national one of the national sports in Canada, and I'm going to score your pronunci or your pronunciation and reading. And then I'm going to ask you some questions for comprehension and listen to you for your use of grammar and use of vocabulary. Same, same. So when you are ready, go. While most nations have one national sport, Canada is different as it has two. Both are national sports by law. The summer national sport of Canada is lacrosse and the winter national sport is ice hockey. Lacrosse History Many national sports such as cricket, football or rugby are popular around the world, but lacrosse is not popularly well known outside Canada. It is based on a field game played by the original Canadian people and we first hear of it in, nine, uh, in 1637 when a French traveler noted a game called Cross. Whole Indian villages played this game and lacrosse field often used to be over a kilometer long. These sports the sport uh, became popular with the uh, with people who who came from British and France in the mid 1800s, and the first match uh, involving this new population took place in 1844. It became more popular, and its players set up uh, the National Lacrosse Association of Canada in 1867 which developed the techniques and rules necessary in the sport. It became known outside Canada in the early part of the 20th century. International com uh, Composition Lacrosse appeared as a competitive sport in the Summer Olympics of uh, 1904 and 1908, but since then it has only appeared as an exhibition sport example to show people what it is like with no opportunities for medal for medals the lacrosse world champions championships are held every four years until 1986 only four national only four nations took part canada the us the usa england and australia but numbers are growing with 38 nations entering the uh, entering the 2004 competition the medal winning places are usually shared between the USA Canada and Australia one thing that is quite surprising about the sport is that since 1900 since 1990 a canadian team called the Iroquois Iroquois. 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 Indian nation, yeah. Iroquois uh, na uh, nations has taken part in the uh, international competitions. The only origin 
original North American people do do so in any sport. They have uh, they have come fourth in all the recent World Championships except for two thousand ten when they weren't allowed to enter the UK, where the competition took place. So they missed the opportunity to compete for a medal. Mm. Aims and rules. Lacrosse is a, a team sport, and like many team sports, the aim is to score more goals than the other team. Teams consist of ten players who usually who use a long stick with a net on the end to catch, carry, and pass a small rubber ball. Players have to throw the ball ball. At the goal, a net that is one point eight meters wide by one point eight meters high. Each match is sixty minutes long, with four quarters of fifteen minutes each. Players can run with the ball, but they must catch it with their hands. Yeah, so it's very similar to hockey and and football, the the, the soccer version. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Teams gotta pass it, gotta shoot it, gotta score. Except they use a a racket kind of with a net, a stick with a net on the top. You can see a picture of it there. Yeah, it's quite uh, it's a contact sport too, so you can hit each other. So it's quite entertaining to watch. And uh, yeah, we already talked about in class about Indian and uh, you're Indian, and that's yeah. where Christopher Columbus and them got a little confused, thinking they had got to India, but they got to the Americas, and. Uh, yeah, so they don't call the their their the, the 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 official name in Canada is First Nation people. Though they they are so we're not we don't call them Indians anymore because they're not Indian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and in the states they call them uh, Native Americans. All right, cool. Uh, and then and again with with years, I know you said 1904, 1908. You can, but you can make it shorter too. You can just say 1908. You can just like a phone number, you can say that. Uh, or 2010. Okay, but now your pronunciation is 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 good. It's very good. All right. So who first played across? Uh, Who first played that game? Where did where where was it discovered? Um, no, these were in America. Yeah, Canada. Yeah, Canada. North, but North America. I'm I'm guessing if they found it in North America, in Canada, is what they're talking about here, of course. Because it's one of Canada's national sports, not 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 the USA. Yeah. But there's a good chance they probably played it in in some parts of the United States as well. Yeah. That's what I would guess. But I wasn't around then. When did they discover the game? When and who discovered this game? Um. It was uh, it was first discovered in uh, 1637. Uh, by a French traveler. Yeah, he found the game. When was there a match between the people of Britain and France? When did they first start playing the game? Um, mid 1800s. Yeah. So the mid 1800s, what would be an example of some years in the mid 1800s? Um, what years would be mid 1800s? I'm not sure. What does mid mean? Um, it is short for just like a midterm. What's a midterm? What does the mid mean? Middle. Yeah, that's right. It's the yeah. middle. A middle term is the test, you know, after the first or second semester to divide things up to get some of your scores done. Yeah. So it, it would be the same thing in a century. So the middle of the 1800s would be? 1850s. 
yeah, the 1840s, 1850s, maybe even maybe 40 to 60. You know, that yeah. would be the mid the mid 1800s. Yeah. All right. Oh, is lacrosse a Olympic sport? Yes. Today? No, not today. Not anymore. Yeah, only back in 1904, 1908. Yeah. Since then, just exhibition. Yeah, there weren't enough countries that played. It said that there were only four, uh, was it four? Only four nations took part. Yeah, yeah. Canada, USA, England, and Australia. How many nations play lacrosse now? 38 nations. Yeah, now is quite a few more. Maybe we'll have to start an Indian and a Vietnamese team. We'll do some exhibition games between India and Vietnam. <laughs> so what's the aim of the, the game? What are they trying to do in the game? How do you win? So uh, to win the game, you have to score the most. So uh, there are two teams divided in this game. Each team is considered uh, is con each team has ten players, and the goal is uh, the goal of the game is to score uh, is to score more points than the other team. Yeah. In sixty minutes. Yes, that is correct. Very simple game. What kind of equipment do they use? Um, there is this long stick with uh, a small like net at the end to catch the rubber ball with. Yeah, they also wear paddings, but they didn't mention that. Mention that, and they wear very thick gloves because they get hit on their hands with the sticks a lot. You wouldn't be able to play the game without those protective gloves, kind of like ice hockey. They have to wear those protective gloves. All right. Do you remember what the other national sport in Canada is? Ice hockey. Ice hockey. Canada also has two national languages. Do you know what they are? No. English and French are both national languages there. Do you have more than one national language in your country? Um, we have Hindi and then we also have English. So, yeah, I guess you could say that. But English, I'm not sure, though. No, but English is not a, a national language. In yeah, it's not a national language. That's right. Okay, very good. All right, that's good. Thank you for doing your test. You did fine. Hopefully, we'll see you in, uh, in, in 8.28, right? Are you still doing badminton those evenings? Yeah. Oh, still badminton, huh? All right, then. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you soon. See you in reading. Bye. Bye-bye.